guys welcome back to a brand new grand summoner video so i've got it up on my phone again guys and i'm quite excited to jump into this and see what we're going to be able to do so i've got another summoner ticket which is lovely so that's gonna be another three five star another rainbow drop another five water crystals and yeah great so what i wanted to show you in this one was um I'm also going to do a couple of summons here. So I've got my free daily one. Normally not guaranteed anything extremely brilliant from these daily ones, guys. But... You know, you might as well do them because it's just another character to sell or fuse away or, you know, do... Well, any, anything along those lines with, really. So that gets rid of that. Now, I don't have enough diamonds to do a uh, any more One Punch Man summons. At the moment, I'm hoping to be able to pull a few more of them before kind of end of the event. But I still got like 60 days, so I'm not too worried. So, what does this do? All, the, all these cars are so cool. But no, I'm staying focused with the One Punch Man characters at the moment. So I don't have anything in there. What I have managed to earn enough of is I've got a crossover ticket here. So let's see what we get. I'm going to get something trash for this, I know. I normally always do. With the single summons, guys, I normally get awful things. I want you to comment down below and let me know who you've got in your most recent summon on this game. Yeah, like I said, absolute trash there. Okay, so I'd been saving up to do this summon here because I've got, um, I'm close to getting 5,000. That's what I'm saving up for because I was able to go through the training missions and get loads of these points. So I basically just wanted to make you guys aware that if you are new to this game like I am when it came to just starting for the One Punch Man, really, one of the best things you could do was go through all the training missions because you were able to get some really, really good stuff. So, what might be that? As you go here, you go into missions. Make sure you claim all of this stuff here as well. So, three more diamonds there. That's going to help me get towards summoning one. Clearing certain amounts of quests. More diamonds there. So, all of these are just nice free diamonds. Nothing huge, but they're just giving you free diamonds. If you go into events here. You're going to see here that these refresh quite recently. So there's always new events to get really good rewards. So this is a new one here. Um, and trade rare equipments. So these are just extra uh, new characters, I think. It's like another crossover event or something along those lines. But I wanted to show you the daily quest because I was unable to show you that uh, yesterday because I'd already completed it. So you can see here, I've got all of my main characters at 70 now. And I'm just waiting to get a few more upgrades for terrible tornado so now if we battle it's going to be quite easy and supersonic is a fantastic character now, i wasn't expecting him to be quite as good as he actually is and um terrible tornado is fantastic at like knocking characters off I just use all the items in the first bit but this is meant to be easy guys this is meant to be absolutely easy because it's just basically for a few sort of random drops at the end so you never really have to think about what you're doing on this daily one look at that see that he just drops out loads of money you disgust me there and obviously what's good with him is he drops lots of keys for money So what I want to do at the moment is I want to get Genos uh, evolved and then I want to get Terrible Tornado evolved. So here is what I mean here. And I've got quite high luck characters with Genos being the leader. So their luck bonus, big upgrades, random loot, great. And that was two more gold characters to sell off for money there as well, which is brilliant. So we've got loads of these new events here, guys, all with 12 days left. So obviously it is worth doing them all because like I said, you get exclusive equipment and they are relatively easy as well i kind of i've cleared both the one punch man ones so i kind of just left it after that obviously guys 
you do need to make sure you get a decent amount because you want to be exchanging stuff in here. Um, let's see what I can get. So what you can get here is capes. That's actually all relatively garbage from here. Yeah, so that is a little bit rubbish. So when it comes to the end of the vet, I might as well cop one of these now. Like that, and then I'll cop some of these arms. Because there's nothing else to spend this currency on. Like that, lovely. Great, so that's bought two more little items there. And then I want to make sure the same thing happens in the other store, uh, which is this one, I think. Yep, I got even more in here. But like I said, I think this stuff's trash in here as well. So I bought my taunts. Ah, you can get crossover tickets and then loads of the crossover gems. So what I should do, I'm going to buy 28 of those just straight off the bat. And I'm going to put them all into Genos. Yeah, because I don't really care about anything else at the moment. I get 16 gold cat keys as well, so I can get a load of money. Yeah, like I said, I don't really care about any of this at the moment either. Because I'm not that far into the game yet. So, the problem with all of that... I can't... Why is it letting me do that when he's on max level? We're going to evolve. Now I'm going to put... See, I've got the bits. I brought those the other day from that sh shop. The bits to evolve him. Um, I guess I could now save up to get bits to evolve, but I can already evolve her as well. Like, I've got 275 of those, I've got four of those, I've got two of those, and I need one of them. So I can get her evolved as well. So I can get my, my the main two One Punch Man characters I use evolved, which is brilliant. So let's um, limit break him. Look at this now, this is mad. Because I, I want to get one character with really good luck, and Genesis is my favourite from the event. So what I should do is keep rinsing that um, event really, so I can keep getting um, Genos leveled up. 53. I'd also really like to unlock Satama, but that's all down to luck now guys, but I, I want to work on the characters that I've got. That's yeah, so, because I want one character with high luck for when I'm going into like PvP games and multiplayer games. Just to keep me with the good drop rates. There we go. Great. So guys, a lot of you were asking me to kind of give you a quick update on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I'm trying to get Genesis Luck over 100. And I'm going to evolve him. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing soon. And as you can see, I bought a lot of um, gold cats from that event. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys, one of the easiest things you can do is just go into the event. And which I was doing is this one. And do the hardest level, which is this one. Run it on multiplayer. Experts needed. Auto make sure all of this is sorted. You've got all of your best stuff on. And then ready it up. And now the good thing is you can go onto public here. And then you just wait, guys, and somebody will join who's like ridiculous overpowered and run you through the mission so that's what i wanted to talk about guys